Today is uh, August 16th, 2019, and I'm saying this again. Ah, darn it. Making videos out here and these airplanes go by. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm just saying this again, and I want you to sit here and think about the times that you've done stuff wrong out here. And see if I'm not telling you the truth, and see if this is if this doesn't make sense. See, I'm finding more and more people out here that are calling themselves Christians that are living in sin. <clears throat> people that are smoking pot, and people that are drinking, and etc. And I'm going to prove this stuff to you. Uh, it's not like I haven't already talked about this stuff before. I'm just trying to get you to remember the times that you were doing, the times that you were out with your friends, whether you were by yourself or with your friends. Doesn't make it doesn't make a difference. And you got drunk, and you got high. Doesn't make a difference what you're getting high on. It's the same thing. You know, some people out here have names for what this stuff is is um, uh, some people have names for this stuff of what if what it's considered like sorcery sorcery I'm not a I'm not a hundred percent sure but it makes sense to me but when you let's just say I know that get, smoking weed is better than getting drunk. I'll at least tell the truth here. Uh, but nothing is good for the for the kingdom of God. Nothing is good. Neither one of those are good at all. I know that you can talk you can talk about God with people when you're high, depending on what you're high on, and drinking. Until you get so many beers, you're not going to be able to talk about God after that. But with me saying that, that does not make it does not make the the difference as if I'm saying it's okay. Um, I am telling you this right now. What is going to happen when people drink? They're going to get in fights. I mean, it's like there are some people out here. It's like that is exactly what happens when they get drunk. There, it's a guaranteed fight going to happen. And you guys have run across people like this when you've been at parties where you know when somebody shows up, if they're a drinker, you know something's going to happen. And, uh, but I'm telling you, both getting high and drinking both lead to you making a big mistake. You do things that you normally would not do. Just like I know for a fact, you smoke marijuana, you're, uh, there's about a thousand times better chance that you're going to turn on pornography and do things that you should not do. So, uh, and, it, and it, it's no different than, oops, a woman got pregnant from a one night stand because she was drunk or high. Or this, I don't, I can't give every example out here. Now, somebody said the other day, they made a comment, I think, on a YouTube video about if they were smoking marijuana for the purpose of uh, medicinal purposes. And I, I could see that. I could see that because you have a better chance of keeping yourself under control smoking marijuana than you do... Um, drinking. I mean, I know one thing. If I got hurt and there was no hospital around and I was hurt bad enough, I probably would drink. Um, you know, hoping hoping that it would benefit. Um, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say out here. I can't, I mean, I, I just don't have every answer. But I know right now that... These things lead people to do things that they would not normally do if they were not on drugs. And look look at what drugs normally do to people. Drugs cause me to have anxiety for a year and a half. 
I know of a relative that talked to me about when they did some cocaine in the past, this is before I was born, that this, my, one, of, one of my aunts had anxiety from doing cocaine. I know bipolarness out here, mainly in women, and I'm not sitting here talking smack or being sexist, mainly in women, women can't handle the drugs like a lot of men can. But it doesn't make a difference because these drugs catch up to you. Over time, I remember a friend of mine telling me that drugs would catch up to you and eventually take a toll on you. Normally leading to stuff like I know people out here that are having issues with because it's drug related. Kidney failures. Um, I, you know, everything. Everything. There's no use of me even talking about everything that this stuff can affect. And it does affect this over time. Uh, burning up your brain cells. And so on. But... Again, like I said, when you're on the, when you do these things, I mean, uh, yes, I've heard Christians time and time again say you can drink, but we're only talking to the point of knowing when to stop. I mean, literally, I had a four pack of Clamatos not long ago. I drank two of them. When I got to the third, when I when I had the thought of drinking a third one, it was like stop, stop. Because if I would have drank a third one, then I would have been drunk. Or I would have drank one too many. I'm not going to, I mean, you say drunk, okay, whatever. But there's a reason, there's a reason why we're not supposed to be this way. Because we're doing things we normally wouldn't do. But I promise you, drugs lead to bipolarness. Especially pills. <clears throat> especially pills, lead to bipolarness. So we have all done this to ourselves. No different than if a, if a person were to do a whole bunch of acid, they would probably eventually be in a, a mental institution. And look at what people do. People think bath salts are cool to do. What does that normally cause you to do? Go around killing people. If you don't kill yourself. Like I said, that's why it's not good. It never has been good. Never will be good. And, you know, I know atheists out here will say, well, look at the wine Jesus drank. Well, I've never heard a message better than I ever heard. Um, can't believe I can't think of his name. Perry Stone. Perry Stone made a video one, one day. And I was, in, I was in upstate New York when I was listening to this message about when Jesus drank wine, they used watered-down wine. There's no way that wine would have ever lasted back then if they didn't water it down. I mean, I know a lot of people got drunk, and don't get me wrong, you can drink enough watered-down wine and eventually you're going to get drunk. But I know right now, when Jesus made wine out of water, you can bet that it was not potent enough to get someone drunk unless they drank enough of it. So watered down wine, it's like drinking watered down coffee. I can't stand coffee that tastes watered down. Cannot stand it. And, uh, but, like I said, I'm not going to condole in any drinking. Because you don't know if you're going to have the compatibility to stop. Just like I shouldn't, I, I'm not going to. I'm not going to sit here and tell somebody to smoke marijuana. I mean, if they if they can keep their sinful thoughts, if they can keep their thoughts, because your thoughts can send you to hell. So if your thoughts can send you to hell, if you can fight the temptation of your thoughts, that when you have a bad thought, if you can, if you can fight that temptation, using marijuana for medicinal purposes, then more power to you. But I know that those thoughts are going to come. And uh, 
If you can fight, if you can fight those thoughts and fight those actions, then there's probably nothing wrong with it. But I guarantee you, most people are going to have them sinful thoughts, and they're going to do the sinful actions. It's it, this is the whole reason why Christ did it, the God in His living Word did not want people to be out here participating with sinners out here. Because you're going to be tempted enough that you're eventually going to do something wrong. And you know what? You don't know if God will even try to help you fight the things when you've put yourself in that position. I know I'm still kind of hurt when I came to Oklahoma City and, and I've already brought this up a couple of times and I, and I ran across one of my friends and he said, I finally found a pastor that I could drink with. And I'm sitting here thinking, okay, I, I, I remember helping him with drugs once, helping him not do drugs, but basically... The thing is out here, somebody's trying to confiscate, compensate one for the other. So because you don't believe that doing drugs, but you think drinking is okay, that's not going to cut it. That's not going to cut it. Like I said, I know what this stuff eventually leads people to do. Things they would not do if they were not high or drunk. So, I've actually run across people as of late, and I know there are tons and tons and tons of people out here that ta that smoke marijuana and go to church. That don't need marijuana. And I'm telling you this right now. I do not believe that they're right with God. I do not. Do not whatsoever. You know, I know that this one guy, but before I go any further, I'm going to make this statement. I know that uh, this guy said, and I and I even made a video about it, no telling where the video is up on my videos, and, and he said that once you gave your life to Christ, that when you get convicted, you, it's no longer for sin, which is a lie. That's an absolute lie. And... Uh, but I do know that when I got convicted on smoking cigarettes, that um, I'm just not 100% sure if smoking cigarettes will keep you out of the kingdom. I can't say yes and I can't say no. But I know that it's wrong and I know I got convicted of it. And I can't say whether it was because of sin or not. <clears throat> um, you know, it could be as far, it could be sin. You know why? If for me to watch sports is idolatry, because I like watching sports, depending on how much I let it be a part of my life, and. When people are idol worshiping it, basically, we think there's nothing wrong unless we know the truth. But <clears throat> if we're doing the same thing for cigarettes, then I could see how somebody, I could see how it could be sinful. But I know I got convicted of it when I was in Arkansas. And I really wish at that point in time I would have quit smoking cigarettes. I know since Friday of last week, it's been a week, I've smoked 12 cigarettes and two black and milds. What really gets me is um, I did get the patch. The only thing is when I wake up in the morning, I can taste where I've got the nicotine. But as the day goes on, I don't really feel that much nicotine. I know what helps more than anything is when they first recognize the temptation of anything. That if you overcome, the minute you 
witness the temptation, that's the best time. Like if I all of a sudden decided I wanted a cigarette and I was like, oh, no, forget it. Get it out of my head. Forget it. That's your best bet. And it doesn't make a difference whether you're on a patch or not. Um, that's, your, that's your best bet. I know everybody's got a system out here. And if I, I really would rather take the patch than just, just to go, go cold turkey. I mean, I've only I've only used four patches in seven days. Uh, I've actually la had the patch on longer than 24 hours for a reason, so it would last longer. But again, what if cigarettes is like idol worshiping? What if it is sinful because of the um, the temple? Well, either way, I made this video. I'm sitting here trying to prove a point. If you can remember when you were young and you drank, what you did when you drank, uh, I can tell you this right now. I'll give you the. I'll give you a prime example. I know. Let me. Let me pause this for a second. I guarantee you that when people do things out here that they should not do. One being homosexuality, I guarantee you, you'll find out that drinking is involved and you'll find out drugs is involved. Just like when uh, people out here do things that they shouldn't do, like touching children or this, that, and the other, you'll find out that a lot of times drinking and drugs was involved. And you'll find out that these people may have never went to that stuff. I mean, today it's a lot harder. It's a lot harder now that they legalize uh, same-sex marriage. But I'm going to tell you this. Like I said, people are doing this stuff at a younger age and they're still drinking and they're still getting high. Just like what are people doing when they're in college? When they're drinking and getting high, they're doing things that they shouldn't do. Uh, all I can say is it's still a part, I guarantee you this stuff is still a part of the reason why people do things that they shouldn't do. Whether, whether, it be, whether it be cheating on your husband and wife, you'll find out they drank. You'll find out they did drugs. And I don't care if you're talking about pastors that have cheated on their wives. You'll find out it was because of drinking was involved. May not be drugs, but you'll find out drinking was involved. Heck, a lot of people today can't even really f have sex unless drinking and drugs is involved. So, I mean, I'm telling you this right now. I don't care what anybody says. You, there's no way that we're going to inherit the kingdom being a drunkard. And there's no way you're going to inherit the kingdom as a pothead. There's no way you're going to inherit the kingdom even selling pills, much less doing and much less doing the pills when you don't need to be taking them. Cuz it's no different. You're going to do something you shouldn't have done. There's a reason behind all this. I know the one thing my grandmother told me, supposedly I have Indian blood in me. I'm not sure. But she said that you're more apt for things to happen against you if you're an Indian. And, uh, I mean, she was Indian, but it wasn't my biological grandmother. And, uh, there's no doubt in my mind that there's more things that are going to happen when drugs and alcohol is involved. Just like, what were people doing back when they, when they had orgies and stuff? Today and back then, drinking. I'm telling you, it was drinking was involved. And then when there was no more drinking, they still lived that lifestyle. So can you imagine why being a drunkard and doing drug drugs sinful? Come on, man. I'm telling you this right now. I don't know how. I don't care. I could sit here and bring this up to an atheist. I could bring this up to Christians. Even most Christians will still not witness 
the conviction that they had before they were doing these things back then as a child when they were younger. I'm telling you, I have been convicted the majority of my life. The only time I did not get convicted is when I ignored the, the Holy Spirit from the conviction before. And it does. And the Holy Spirit isn't guaranteed to convict you every time you do these things. I'll tell you this, and I'll end the video on this. I worked at Target back in the day. I used to unload truck. Uh, well, first, I was smoking marijuana before I did speed. Before I did speed, I was smoking marijuana. I smoked marijuana for about a year, over a year straight, every day. And it was an all-day thing. I mean, I probably smoked five or six joints a day. From the minute I woke up, I smoked one going to work, smoked one at lunch, smoked all all for the rest of the day after I got off work, and I never knew what it felt like to be normal. And I'm not even 100% sure if I ever got convicted at that point in time in my life. I can't guarantee you because I can't tell you how many times I've been convicted. But I can guarantee you that I got convicted before I ever started making it an everyday habit. And um, and then I did speed. Starting with these little pills that you buy at the... Well, no. Crank first for a short time. And then those little pills that you buy at the convenience store. A lot of them, they don't sell no more. But, uh... I was in La La Land. So tell me how drugs of any sort can be good when you're in La La Land. Never was good. So it's strange to find a whole bunch of Christians out here wanting to smoke marijuana and then call themselves Christians. Like I said, if you want to sin, do those things. Because I guarantee you, once you let it get a hold of yourself, that's exactly what you're going to do. You're going to sin. That's all I can say. And you want to... Uh, no, no, no. Let me, let me end it on this. You want me to tell you why I say I don't give any credit for, for people today having children? Like I said, just about every child has drunk before they were 15 years old. Just about every child has drank before they were... Did I say get high and drink before they were 15 years old? And then they end up doing things that they would regret. And then they act like children when they're in their 20s and 30s. Not even taking care of their children. And then you wonder why re rebellion is worse today than it was in the 50s. It's worse today than it has been probably ever in the history. So, and churches say that there's nothing wrong with sin. Like I said... I don't give man, I don't give a man credit enough that a woman should listen to him anymore because most men are in la la land. They're in la la land. Women, I don't give credit for women because they're in la la land themselves. So, as far as, uh, I mean, I hate to sit here and talk against God's word, but I don't even think people deserve the credit that they should be getting. That they're getting. I don't think people should be getting the credit. Most women don't even bring their children up right. And most men are not even around. And most, I mean, I'll tell you this right now. Ugh, I know this is going to ruin this video. Like I said, I've said it before. My friend was in the military. They did a, they did a, they did a test when he was in the military. And that over 40% of the women cheat on their spouse when uh, their boyfriend uh, their, their boyfriend or whatever husband when they're in the military. Now men were doing that for all these years too. So it, what comes around goes around. It's, it's the same thing. I just wonder what these people were doing. That made them be cheaters. They couldn't even wait till somebody until they got back here or what. I don't understand. <laughs> I mean, 
And this is the reason why people can't keep a relationship together. That's exactly it. Somebody gets mad and there's a divorce. And they ain't even been married for six months. Ain't even been married probably less than that. And because of a little spitter spat, all of a sudden there's a divorce. And tell me how I should give people credit to have children. I can't give them credit. I don't care. I've heard too many people say how much they care about their children and then you see that it's not true at all. If a person really cared about their children, they'd be preaching the word, teaching the word about God and now everybody's in in this world is going to college in la la land, experiencing this world's la la land. I sit here and just saw on the internet a minute ago or someone po- quoted Someone just quoted a minute ago on the internet. I mean, it could have been from a week or two ago or a month ago. Saying that church should, I mean, God should have no part at school. That it, that school shouldn't be, shouldn't be saying anything about God. Actually, that's wrong. What they shouldn't be doing is they shouldn't be preaching a denomination. But they should be talking about God. They may not should preach about God. But since children don't have God today. You understand why we're in the position we're in right now. And it's been going on for a while now. Like I said. Most parents today used to sit there. And their parents. They sit here and said. I would never bring my children up like my parents. Vice versa for how many years now? And you wonder why we're in the position where we're in with the cup of iniquity overflowing? Yeah. Yeah, I think I can understand it. I can see exactly why we ain't got too much more time left. And it'd be nice if people wake up to the truth about how bad sin is. You're living in sin. You're wicked. You, uh, what's it, what's it say? The sin, uh, ugh. I mean, look at all the people who say God hates the sin and loves a sinner, or whatever it is. I don't know what that little saying people say, but I know right now, as long as we're living in sin, we're not going to inherit the kingdom. I'm telling you, it doesn't make a difference whether it's drugs or alcohol or other things out here, because we're still out here doing things that we shouldn't be doing that's listed right there in the Bible, and people are saying, all you had to do is, ah, I'm going to read, I'm going to, yeah, i got to end this video.